Mama and I are here at the Mast. Mast General Store in Columbia, South Carolina. We had some time to kill before our flights. Um, so this kind of looks like it's right up our alley. Yeah. So mm. let's go check it out. Oop, I'm tilting. Let's get back I inside. Know. There's a coaster here I might need to get. Don't make me use my teacher voice. <laughs> well, don't get sassy with me. Well, and also, you see under those glasses? I actually have that book. That's the McGuffey spelling book. I think this place is gonna suit you. I like this store already. So, okay, as Krista and I are driving around, we're basically just trying to kill time before we can get on our flight to come back home. And um, we were looking for this Army Navy store, which is right there. Um, but we got a reminder of why it is that we grow our own food and raise our own animals. Uh, we just drove past, we were like, what are, there was a bunch of semi-trucks all like stacked up and in a row. And, and then high the, security. And there was a high security um, guard gate going into some odd looking facility with like chemical kind of stuff coming up the top. And, and then we were driving by we could see in because they had a truck was waiting to get inside and it was one of those chicken trucks just stacked in the length of a semi and all smashed into like two of them in a space like this big yeah those chicken boxes and just horrible conditions mm -hmm. and it was a reminder of why we raise our own food um, and yeah we eat eggs and yeah we eat chicken and but I can't, I can't do it. I can't buy the stuff from the store anymore with a good conscience. These animals are treated so badly. And, um, and well, if we're going to eat meat, then we've got to do it right and honorably and ethically. And so it was just a little bit of a reminder. Hey, didn't expect to see that, but it is encouraging because, well, frankly, chicken processing day is coming up here. And, um... The way we look at it is those birds are cared for, fed well, protected. Um, they have access to everything chickens love and, and have a good time with. And the only time they're having a bad day is just for a brief second or two. And so that's our symbiotic relationship with the chicken. So. This is crazy here. This is liquid nitrogen. They're mixing with something that supposedly tastes like Fruit Loops, which I'm in on the Fruit Loops. And then what we use dipping sauces. All right, uh, Krista, get I'm in scared. on this action. Come on, baby. Let's eat a frozen cheese puff. Woo. I don't think they're cheese puffs. He said they taste like Fruit Loops. They look like cheese puffs. And then you puff it. But 
this orange doesn't go in chocolate. Just, just try it. Mm. Okay. Three, two, one, action. Now you poop it. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? And snorting out your nose. Like yeah. <laughs> I like fruit loop. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. If I didn't know that these are actually just a science experiment, this could have, could be ugly. That actually hurt my teeth, it was so cold. So okay, you've never had the dragon's breath science experiment dessert. Gone wrong. What do you feel? Oh, I guess that's, I was just gonna say, what do you think about it? It's okay, it tastes like frozen Fruit Loops. I and don't think it tastes as good as Fruit Loops. No, well, I don't like Fruit Loops anyway, but that's just what they taste like, and it's. It's still. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I'll tell you what, I'd rather be doing making hay. 